My name is Brady Houston. I'm 21 years old, and I'm from Spokane, Washington. Appreciate you joining us, Brady. Talk about uh, just how this journey started for you, man. How did you first get into to martial arts and kind of start down this path? Uh, well, I, when I was young, when I was four years old, I started karate just like a lot of kids. I don't, I don't view that as uh, necessarily my fighting start because, you know, karate, it is what it is. It taught me a lot of good life skills, but... Uh, then I started boxing after I quit karate. I did a little boxing in eighth grade, a little wrestling. And then once I started jujitsu, that's when it all took off. I started jujitsu. I started kickboxing when I was 14. And uh, shortly after, when I was 16, I had my first MMA fight. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. So, so you, I guess you mentioned you had to get the parents to sign off on that one? Oh, for sure. Yeah, my mom was a little skeptical. But, you know, I com after some convincing and, uh, you know, some confidence from me, she was like, okay, he can go do it. Were you able to fight another teenager, or are you fighting a, a, a grown man at that point? Actually, it turned out the guy was 27 years old. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't end up winning the fight. It was a really close fight, and, uh, you know, I, I, it was going my way. Just made some mistakes being 16 years old, but it was, it was a great experience, and it taught me how much I hate losing. And I love fighting. So I was gonna ask you because me at 16, you you probably think you're, you know you're unbeatable, right? Like nobody oh, can touch sure. you. So what what happens when you come up short? I mean, what is that lesson like? Uh, it was a hard one. It, it taught me that I just needed to work harder and train harder and be uh, mentally right. So it it got me more involved in my training and got me more uh, dedicated, I guess. Nice. So from then to now, has it all been chasing this passion? Or, I mean, have you had, like, job interests or other things outside of the sport? Honestly, this has been my main focus. Obviously, like, we got to survive. So I've been doing other things, like currently live at a fire station. So I'm a resident firefighter. And, uh, but luckily, with the schedule, it's making it really easy for me to uh, train and um, teach kids jujitsu and just live this lifestyle that I want to live. That's awesome. How long have you been a firefighter? Uh, I started... Uh, when I was 19. Yeah, so I went through the academy, I got my EMT, and uh, became a full-fledged firefighter and moved in about a year and a half ago. What kind of, like, upbringing? I mean, when I was 19, I was just a complete screw-up. You know, you're, like, chasing the fighting dream at EMT. I mean, what, like, did you just, were you always driven like this? Did your parents guide you? Dude, uh, it's, it's, it's crazy. Like, I, I, I think about it sometimes, and I'm like, one, my mom is an amazing human. She's, uh, she's extremely driven. She was kicked out when she was 15. She was on her own, put herself through school, college. She became a nurse practitioner in the ER, has worked there for 25 years. And so just seeing her and how hard she's worked, being a single mom to me and my brother, is, is, is truly inspiring. So a big, big credit to my mom. Also, uh, my dad had passed away when I was, when I was 15 due to um, you know, some addiction and some stuff like that. So seeing both sides of the spectrum and seeing how bad life can get, especially when you're not doing what you want to do, living your dreams and stuff like that is also a huge motivation. So, you know, I love both my parents to the moon and back and they've, they've inspired me to, to be the man I am today. So, you know, and hopefully I make them proud. All right. I imagine you are, man. That's awesome. Uh, so I guess you have to take time off to come compete on the show. Yeah, luckily, uh, honestly, luckily, my uh, fire station is super, super supportive. They, they even got me some footage of me going into a burning fire and everything like that. So it was cool, uh, cool talking to them and how supportive they were. You know, they just said I could take a leave of absence for the next two months. And uh, when I get done with the show, I'll go back and start living at the fire station again. Start living my career as a ultimate fighter. That's awesome. So uh, the ultimate fighter. I mean, did you ever consider? I mean, obviously it's been on hiatus, right? So as you're making your journey, I mean, did, yeah. was there ever a time? I mean, since you, you've been chasing it for a long time, maybe you did. Did you ever think about being on the show? I have, I have, and you know, when it was like not showing up year after year, I was like, oh, I guess they're not doing it. Especially when COVID hit, I'm like, damn, they're definitely not doing the ultimate fighter. But I was like, there's still other avenues, contender series, maybe a short notice jump on or something like that. I'll, I'll be ready. And then I saw they're doing that 35 and I'm like, this is my chance. I knew then I was like, I'm going to be on this show. This is my time. What does this opportunity mean to you? Because this year you got, you, I mean, you got so much going on in your life. I mean, does this feel like a make or break type thing or is this just kind of like a cool life experience? I mean, what is this for you? No, this isn't just a cool life experience. This is my career. This is what I want to do. This is, I believe I'm going to win this show. I believe this is where the start of my career in the UFC is going to be. I'm going to win this show and then I'm going to move on and then I'm going to climb the rankings in the UFC and then eventually get that belt. That's awesome. And the goal along the way is to, to stay a firefighter or do you, or do you, do you, you take you know, time off and go in full-time fighting? What's the plan? I definitely, you know, the schedule is really, really lenient at, at my station. So um, 
I definitely want to keep doing that because I like helping people. Um, I think it helps me get like away. You know, everyone needs a little bit of an outlet, especially as a fighter with all the stresses and stuff. And me going to the fire station, hanging out with my buddies, you know, cooking some food, maybe going and helping grandma that she's not feeling well or going into a burning building. It's like that stuff's fun to me. So I, I think that's uh, that's more of a stress relief rather than an added on stress. So, you know, and I don't have to do it all the time. I can always just be a volunteer, do, you know, one 24 hour shift a month. So. I think I, I, it'll always be in my life in uh, some aspects. But you know, if the UFC is calling, when the UFC is calling, I have to take some time off. I gotta do what I gotta do. That's awesome. Last thing for me, I mean, for a lot of people, obviously, this is gonna be the first time they see you fight. So, I mean, what can we expect out of you once w once we see you compete? Uh, I think they're gonna be surprised. You know, I'm a lot of people think because I'm young that I I don't have a lot of experience that I'm not a uh, I, I won't be as technical. I won't have the pressure. I won't I'll have whatever. You know. But I feel like they're going to be surprised that this 21-year-old can kick some ass. Talking about the coaches, you know, um, which one do you think would be better for your style? Honestly, I don't, I don't think that matters as much. You know, we're only here for five weeks. I don't think they're going to change me as a fighter. I think they're definitely going to help me out, give me some good guidance, some good uh, experience, and then uh, some, definitely some cool tricks. I don't think it matters as much in that aspect. But... I would love to be on either one of their team because they're great human beings and they're dedicated athletes and I love to learn anything I could from them. But uh, I think if I was have, had to pick super close, I think maybe Ortega just simply because he has a really strong jiu-jitsu background. I love his mindset. I love, uh, I love who trained with Henry Gracie. Seems like a super cool guy, you know, but it's hard to say because, you know, I love Volkanovski too. He trains over at City Kickboxing. Him himself is a savage athlete. so. That's a hard one. 